Hi everyone, Anshita Desai. Welcome back to AV Automation Hub. In the previous video, we learned about post versus put versus patch, and I really got some good feedback that it was really easy to understand. So today we are keeping the same vibe. We are going to learn about HTTP status code using a fun, simple bakery example again. So I expect them in a way that you will understand it quickly. Never forget HTTP status codes after this one. All right. So let's get started. Beginning with the two XX series. So two XX series is basically the success family. So just think of it like your bakery just received an order and everything went perfectly. So the first status code which we are going to learn is two hundred OK. The two hundred OK. Just think of it like for example, a customer orders a chocolate cake and you deliver it exactly as promised. So everything went smooth. The order was received, processed, and delivered. So that's a 200 OK moment. Now the next status code is 201 created. So now someone places an order for new customized cake. Maybe their name written on it, or maybe let's say the strawberry on top of chocolate cake. So you bake it, decorate it. So that means a new resource is created. So that's a 201 created. This is again a success status code. Now the next one is 202 accepted. So sometimes you receive a big catering order, you accept it. But it's still processed, so that means you haven't baked anything yet. But you have confirmed that you will do. So that's two hundred two accepted status code. Next one is two zero four no content. So here's a funny one. So customer asks you, please remove the cherry topping. You remove it, and that's done. So there's nothing new to show. It's the same cupcake, but you just remove the topping from it. So that two zero four no content action succeeded, but server returns nothing. So just remember two zero four is a success, but with empty response. Now let's move to three x x redirection status code. The bakery points you somewhere else. All right. So let's start with three zero one moved permanently. So in this, what happened? You go to old chocolate counter and we say we have moved the chocolate cakes permanently into the new shelf. That is three zero one. You say three zero one moved permanently. Next one is three zero two found temporarily. So in this, what happened? For today only, we have a cakes at a different table. So go there for now. So in this case, it's three zero two. So temporarily, the cakes are moved to a new location. The next family is four x x, which is basically client errors. So now the four x x code. It means problem caused by customer's request. All right. So the first one here is four hundred bad request. So here, customer gives you an order like square round cake, and you get confused because the request is malformed. A square round cake. You cannot have a square and a round cake. It can be either of them. So it's a bad request. Now next example is unauthorized. You try to order from a members only shelf without a membership card. So that's a four zero one unauthorized. You are not allowed to enter it. Without a bakery card, so it is only for the member. In this case, you will get four zero one unauthorized. Now moving to the next one, which is four zero three forbidden. So in this case, basically you enter the bakery, but there is a reserved chocolate cake. You are not allowed to access that reserved chocolate cake. So here it said four zero three forbidden. Next one is four zero four not found. You ask for a rainbow cake and it does not exist. You're trying to access something which does not exist. There you will get four zero four not found. Sometimes you open a website and it gives you four zero four not found. Basically, that means it does not exist anymore. The next status code is four twenty nine. So basically, you spam the counter with order after order. So basically, there are too many requests. When there are too many requests, you get an HTTP status code four twenty nine. All right. So for example, when you are hitting an API multiple times and there are too many requests, you will see four twenty nine in the response code. So that means there are too many calls or too many requests for that. I hope you understood about this four X S series. It is very important, so you should definitely know. If you're working in tech, you should definitely know about the four X X error. Now moving on to the different type of error, which is server errors, basically, which is five X X. So these are basically the server errors. Using this bakery example, that means bakery problems. All right. So the first one is five hundred internal server error. You did everything right, but the oven broke. So that's a five hundred internal error. So basically, sometimes what happens when you hit an API, but internally some of the down service is not working, it will return you five hundred internal server error. All right, 
that's a server error next one is 502 pad gateway in this example the assistant baker messed up while passing the order to the chef so that's a communication failure bad gateway all right so order basically gets messed up over here so that's a bad gateway next one is 503 service unavailable here if you see through this bakery example, they have said it's closed for maintenance. So sometimes when you try to open a website and it gives you 503 service unavailable, that means temporarily it is down for maintenance. The last HTTP status code which we are going to learn is 504, which means gateway timeout. So in this, what happened? Basically, the baker is asking supplier for some ingredients, but they did not reply in time. So in other terms, you did not get response in time from the server. So that's a 504 gateway timer. So that's how HTTP status code works in the real world. So today we have understood it using the example in which what we learned, we learned about 2xx which is success status code, 3xx means redirectional, 4xx is basically client error and 5xx is basically the server error. So yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it and please do like, share and subscribe to my channel in case if you have not and keep watching AB Automation Hub for more such content. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next video.